Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Just Me and Charlie. My name is Braddock Sugilo and this is my dog, Charlie. He just turned six months today, so happy birthday to Charlie. Thank you so much for the support you've shown us over the past couple of weeks, for liking our videos, subscribing to the channel, sh uh, li li uh, sharing your, your thoughts in the comment section. That For that we are very grateful. Today we'd like to introduce a new segment in the channel called Five Things. Yay! where we'll be talking about five different things every other week. And to kick things off today, we'd like to talk about five things, of course. And in that, we talk about what my expectations were when I was getting a dog, when I was getting Charlie, and what my realities turned out to be. So stay tuned and um, yeah, let's, let's hear what they are. Before I get into that, I'd just like to uh, mention a few things. I'd like to say that um, every breed is different. Every dog is different, every dog owner is different, and of course, every environment you coexist and live in with your dog is different. That said, uh, my first expectation was that um, I'll be able to sleep with Charlie in my bedroom, me in my bed, and Charlie in his own bed, of course. Sorry, I'm one of those dog owners. I'm not um, embarrassed or afraid to say, but that was my expectation, that I would be able to sleep with him and he'll be perfect. Like I'd be able to just tell him to get into his bed and I'll, I'll wake up in the morning and find him there and, and all would be good. Unfortunately, um, that didn't turn out to be what the reality of the situation is. Uh, Charlie moves around a lot at night. He goes and chews on my shoes. He pulls on my bed sheets or just moves around a lot. So I found that very, very distracting because sometimes I can be a light sleeper um, when I'm thinking about a lot of stuff. So the constant moving around was a bit of a challenge. Um, <laughs> Charlie, for some reason, also uh, in the middle of the night, just decides it's time to lick my face. So I'd be sleeping and, you know, trying to have a good time. And Charlie just decides this is the time to lick, to lick Braddock's face. So he comes and licks my face in the middle of the night for no apparent reason, and then goes back to bed. But then me, I have to, I have to take a lot of time to get sleep again. So um, that sounds like a nice problem to have, but I found that a little distracting um, in the middle of the night. Um, what is the other thing? Charlie, what is the other thing you do in the middle of the night? Hmm? What is? There's one thing, there's, other, there's an, oh yeah. The other thing he does is that, okay, I'm one of those people who doesn't sleep throughout the night and then goes to pee in the morning. Like I have to wake up a couple of times to go and pee. So I do that, um, go, to the, go, go to the bathroom and when I come back, Charlie is tucked in my bed. And I'm like, what are you doing in my bed? Like get off, <laughs> sleep in your bed. So I found that a little, um, uh, it's, it's, it's funny, but I'm sorry, I'm not one of those guys who sleep with my dog in my bed. Like, if he's going to sleep with me in the bedroom, he sleeps in his own bed. Charlie, what is the other thing you do? Charlie farts. <laughs> Charlie is a fart machine. I'm sorry, it sounds like too much information, but he is. Part of it is my fault, because I think the first couple of weeks or months when I got him, I, I did a lot of research on on things dogs like that are healthy for them. So cheese, Greek yogurt, we also do, uh, we also do chicken, omena, baby dog food, some rice um, there, some raw eggs. So my approach was to have a bit of everything. Shall I sit? My approach was to, have, to, to let him have a bit of everything in one meal so that he sort of balance out his nutrition and sort of explore his palate, um, sort of um, expose his palate to a lot of things. That led to disaster. That created a fat machine. And I'm one of those people who would sleep through a fat in the middle of the night, but Charlie's is just on another level. And funny thing is that once he's done it, he feels so proud of himself. <laughs> so that's the other reason. <laughs> that's, the other, that's the other reason why I don't sleep with him in my bedroom uh, these days. And that's as far as the first expectation and the realities of the situation go. So the second, the second expectation when I was getting Charlie was that, sorry, I love my privacy. And um, the, my second expectation was that that was going to be maintained. Unfortunately, that is not our reality. As we all know, German Shepherds are very emotional dogs. That makes them very good companions and service dogs. So Charlie follows me everywhere I go. 
So whether I'm going to the kitchen, whether I'm going to the bathroom, whether I'm going to the, uh, to the bedroom or my, or my work, work area, Charlie follows me everywhere I go. So uh, he follows me to the toilet. Of course, I don't let him in. But he sits out there and waits for me to finish my business. And once I leave, I've never seen anyone so excited to see me leave the bathroom. So Charlie, Charlie follows me everywhere, including the bathroom. Sometimes when my friends come over, I have to sort of uh, uh, keep him in his indoor kennel so that I can have private moments with my friends, whether it's in the living room or, or my working area when, when we're working together and all of that. So yeah, your privacy will go out the window if you have a German Shepherd like Charlie. So the third expectation was that, <laughs> Charlie, what is it? So the third expectation was that Charlie would understand that I'm borderline OCD and that he'd help me keep my house clean. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is not the case. Um, as you all know by now, I live with Charlie in an apartment. So uh, part, of, part of the house training and the potty training he did uh, was to show him to use my balcony to, to wee wee, that is to pee and poop. Um, him being a puppy, I think he's still fascinated by peeing on the floor and splashing on the pee. So he splashes on his pee and then walks right into the house. So we had, we had to correct that. So we have a drill. After he's done his business, he knocks the door, he lets me know he's done. And before I let him in, I have to wipe, I have to wipe his paws. Charlie, what is it? Sit. I have to wipe his paws before he gets into the house. So that has sort of helped me with that. As you all know by now, dogs drool a lot. So when you're playing with him, you definitely know his toys are going to be covered by slobber. That is going to end up on the floor. He's going to get excited. And if you're, uh, if you're particular about um, him staying off your seats, you can train him to do that. But there's sometimes he gets excited and jumps on his seats and all of that. So now there's a lot of cleaning up after him, which is good because then it also keeps me active and also helps me um, increase the frequency which I clean my house. But yeah, you, you think that uh, dogs understand that your house is supposed to be kept neat and clean. Um, they're dogs. They will play around, they will eat, um, they will mess up. It's all part of the process. It's all part of accommodating a different creature in your living space. Good dog. Good dog. Sit. Sit, good dog. So the, 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 fourth, the fourth expectation was that I'd be able to, I mean, after training, I'd probably be able to leave the house and leave him in the house or the balcony for a few minutes or hours as I go about my business and that he'd be fine, that he'd just sit there, wait, play with himself, you know, entertain himself. Um, as I'm out, but that is not the case. You know, German Shepherds, again, being very emotional dogs and being very good companions, they get a lot of separation anxiety. Good dog, Charlie, come. They get a lot of separation anxiety. So um, that is one thing we have to deal with. So there's a lot of barking sometimes, a lot of, I don't know if it's called howling, there's this high frequency sound they make. There's a lot of doing that, but he doesn't do that for long. He does that for a few minutes and then and then stops. But I've also I've also learned to not be away for too long because he needs he needs his potty breaks. He needs to relieve himself. So I don't go away for too long. The max I think I've gone away is four or five hours. And again, when I come back, he's he's literally like I've never seen someone so excited to see me come back home. So that's that's the other thing about about him that I love as much as it that came with the separation anxiety. He he's he's usually very happy to see me when I come back home and um, yeah, it's one thing that that we are working on as as he gets older, the the intensity is 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 sort of going down. But what I also do is that when I leave, I cover his kennel. I cover the side that faces the door. I cover that side with a cloth so that he just hears me leave, but he doesn't see me leave. And that, I found out, helps with the separation anxiety. The last thing, uh, the last expectation I had was that my emotional state would not 
would not affect him. <laughs> the last, uh, yeah, the last expectation was that my emotional state will not affect his emotional state. I found that not to be the case. You know, dogs feed off of your energy. Those were my expectations, and that is how it turned out to be. Um, not as I had expected, and it's not a bad thing, because we learn and we live and we, we adapt. Um, do you have a dog? Let us know what your expectations were when you were getting the dog and what your realities are in the comment section. Ask us questions. Remember, this segment will feature, we'll, we'll do a video on this segment every two weeks. So if there's anything in particular you'd like us to share or talk about, please let us know in the comment section. Um, that's it from us. Have a nice time. Charlie, tell them bye. Charlie, tell them bye. We are cutting the video. Charlie, the stone is not for eating. No, this is this. this. Chase leading us in love.